Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new 360Hz monitor, which has just been announced by both NVIDIA and ASUS. Yes, you heard me right, 360Hz. You know, previously we've only had things such as 60Hz, the traditional 144Hz and 240Hz, which is was at least on the higher end. As soon as this 360Hz is actually released, that will put them all out of the picture. The new 360Hz monitor is actually called the ASUS. Asus ROG Swift 360 and that is a monitor we're talking about in this video and why you guys actually don't really need to buy it and why it may actually be a waste of money for just the average player such as me, you or even top tier pros to even be buying or even considering buying this monitor. I will be going over all that in this video and why you shouldn't really have to worry about it too much and should probably just stick with the traditional 144Hz. Make sure you watch till the end of the video for that. If you do go ahead to enjoy the video, you know how to do all the good stuff. Drop a like, helps out way more than you guys actually think. Pushes my video out to further people, which is widely appreciated. You know, you can do it right now as I speak. Quickly drop a like, just for me bringing this content out to you guys. Subscribe, post notifications on, you know, if you have not already. It would actually mean the world. Therefore, you never actually miss a video just like this. It will always keep you guys notified. And yeah, without further ado, we'll just get straight into this video. So yeah guys, as I said, the Asus ROG Swift 360 is the name of this monitor. It's just been announced by both an NVIDIA and Asus. I'm pretty sure it's like a collaboration sort of thing by the two companies. They basically joined forces and made this insane monitor. So usually 144Hz is extremely good. Like most pro players use 144Hz, such as Clicks and many others. And then you have other pros such as Booga and I know Tfue use 240Hz, which is the highest of highest as of now. But now this has been announced, 300 60 hertz is basically going to be the new wave or what everyone at least thinks is going to be the new wave i saw many pros getting hyped about this and already tweeting about it how they can buy it and when the release dates for this will be it will be sometime towards the end of this year i'm pretty sure probably close to the coming christmas so people can get it on christmas and it would just sales will be better on the product i'm not 100 sure about that though maybe mid mid 2020 and may i just point out this will be around 500 to 600 dollars as sources do say so yeah this monitor is going to be quite a pricey monitor you know 60 hertz monitor you can get for anywhere less than a hundred dollars which will be like less than 90 pounds gbp 144 hertz monitor you can get from anywhere from even 120 to even 200 dollars it can go a little bit over that maybe 250 dollars you can maybe get a 300 dollar 144 hertz depending on what brand you get maybe if it's an alienware they are quite good for their build quality and that's what you're paying like that premium for and then things such as 240 hertz usually range from anywhere from 250 to maybe 350 dollars and yeah this 360 hertz is going to be around 500 to even 600 dollars which is huge a huge amount of amount of money to be paying for a monitor the reason i say this isn't going to be too good for you guys just the average player pretty 80 percent of you guys watching this video who just play fortnite casually or maybe play here and there in competitive tournaments but i've not earned over at least a thousand dollars in competitive or maybe even over two thousand this monitor really isn't for you if you have that spare cash around you may want to buy it just for that fun factor but overall you don't actually need it the difference from 60 hertz to 144 hertz you guys all know is massive but then if you guys also did didn't know the difference from 144 hertz to a 240 hertz refresh rate isn't that big like it just isn't that big at all and it isn't that overwhelming so if you think about it this way the difference from a 240 hertz to a 360 hertz is going to be just that little less exciting it won't be as big as the difference from 144 to 240 therefore it isn't even going to be that much of a noticeable difference unless you are the pro player who plays daily and really will notice things like that so unless you're competing for millions of dollars where this actual monitor and its refresh rate and that initial decrease in latency to your game is actually going to benefit you a ton from the chance of even making money to not even making any money or winning a tournament and not winning the tournament at all you don't really need this monitor and for example people like clicks he has a lot of money in his pocket he done very good at world cup he isn't even buying a 240 hertz because he said he played that and he did not like it so you may not even know if you are going to upgrade straight from a 60 hertz to a 360 when it comes out or we're planning from getting a 144 and skipping the 240 hertz and going straight to a 360 hertz when this is released probably not worth it save your money you may not even like the monitor anyway you know clicks did actually go to world cup and he requested to use 144 hertz monitor
monitor because it's what he would have preferred to use and that's exactly what he did so it does just go to show for the price of this monitor the 360 hertz you could literally buy 344 hertz monitors and have a full triple monitor setup or you could potentially buy 560 hertz which is insane so the reason i'm saying this is just that you guys don't need to buy this that's that's all i'm saying so don't get too overwhelmed about it if you're not a pro player it's just not even worth it and this isn't me hating on nvidia asus or anything like that if you really want to buy the monitor go ahead but it probably isn't worth the extra cash unless you're playing competitive or if you are aspiring to be a pro fortnite player and really want to take your gameplay to the next level but for me i'm sure i won't have to worry about it the next monitor i probably will get will be a 240 hertz but even that's a push and i probably don't need it and i'm sure 80 percent of you guys watching this video are currently playing on 60 hertz and that may be fine for you but the only thing i will edge you guys to do is please go to 144 hertz don't even look back that's one thing i can actually edge you guys to do and that would be to switch to a 144 hertz so instead of worrying about this upcoming 360 hertz just spend your money right now and buy i don't know maybe two 144 hertz refresh rate monitors and then it should just be a lot better for you guys in the long run again it's just not needed before i made this video and just discuss that with you guys there's no hate towards the companies as i've said you know i'm not trying to get um i don't know i'm obviously not gonna get sued i'm not trying to put any bad names on the brand but yeah i just don't figure like i just don't feel like it's gonna be that much difference i guess we're gonna have to wait and see let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this monitor and whether you think it's gonna be actually good or not i'd love to hear your guys opinion on this a guy called booth can also made a similar video just like this one i'm making now where he did discuss a very similar thing basically went over the exact thing i discussed in this video talked about similar points so i will link him down below he was the first to make a video on this so it sort of gave me that idea to make one as well and expanded it and broaden that to my audience so yeah i'm um, gonna subscribe to him i'll link him down below if you guys got to the end you know what to do subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload like this drop a like it's the least you guys can do but yeah guys that's about it for the video just wanted to discuss it and even a lot of you guys may not even know about the 360 hertz and now you guys do know <coughs> in this video you know i discussed the prices and the downsides to this and kind of the um, advantages because again if you're playing competitive or you are playing at a professional level alongside Booga, maybe even Tifu, yeah you may want this monitor yeah that's about it for the video been your boy farfetch and yeah peace